Welcome to What Gear Reviews, you legendary tech fans. If you're finding What Gear Reviews for the first time, consider subscribing if you like smartphone reviews, headphone reviews, as well as loads of other tech-related stuff, just like this, the Rode Vlogger Kit. And this product is really designed for anybody who wants to step up their audio and video game when it comes to any online social media or video platform. This product is designed to give you the edge. And if you don't know who Rode are, they make some of the best microphones in the business and they've put together this kit specifically designed to work with smartphones. And this particular model is a USB-C edition. There is the lightning port edition. And I also believe there's a micro USB edition as well. So you can get one of these Rode Vlogger kits for pretty much any smartphone on the market today. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is unbox it, show you all the little bits to come with it and some examples of the video and audio quality before and after using the kit. First impressions of this is it feels really premium. That's like a metal on there. And you will see here, you've got the USB-C connector. Let's try and plug that into the Oppo Reno 4 Pro. Let's see how this goes. And that was super easy to do. Literally just plug it in and it kind of rests on the back of the phone. Really nice. That's really cool. Very easy to use. I'm assuming with an adapter, you could plug it into pretty much any USB-C device you wanted to. Then we've got a very premium grip here. Now, the idea is you fix your phone onto this using this bracket here. This is also very premium. I'm actually surprised at this. This is solid metal, this is, and it feels quite weighty and very well built. That's solid metal right there. This is kind of like building a gun. You know, like when they put all the different bits on a gun, this is like building a weapon out of your smartphone here. Let's put this, let's do this bit by bit. And one thing you'll notice about this before I fit it to the phone is the little rubber rest pieces here. Very nice. And there's even a little indent in there. So if you have any buttons that might get pushed down with this grip, maybe you can fit them into the little holes so that it doesn't get pushed down. But anyway, let's, let's put this on. So the grip is now on and the microphone is on. Now let's attach the handle. And you'll see here, it's got a ball head on the top so you can adjust it however you want and just tighten it up however you want. And this also doubles up as a tripod as well. So if you want a fixed location uh, to film a video from, you can use this as a tripod, which is very cool. So we have the thread on the bottom and here we go. That is done. Now we've got the grip, the mic, and the tripod all sorted. Next thing is this. So they're calling this a micro LED light. And this is perfect for filming at nighttime in low light conditions. You can get that really sort of film style look with one of these. And the great thing about this is they also throw in filters. So you can actually add colors on top of this light to give you even more of a cinematic look, like a blue tone or a green tone for a matrix look or something like that. You can do that with this kit. And this light is really well built as well. It feels like it's encased in all metal, pretty heavy duty. You've got a little release catch here, which exposes the USB-C charging port. So if you need to charge it up, it's got a built-in battery there. And that is super cool. There's also a standard diffuser, which I absolutely recommend you use from day one. All right, let's set that up now. All right, so I can't figure out how to fit the uh, the filter onto the lights. I'm gonna have to look at the manual, something I almost never do when I get a new product. Okay. So it looks like the filter kind of clicks into this bit here and then that clicks onto that. Right. 
So literally what you do is you just kind of place the filter over there and there's little bits that kind of wedge their way in. And you've got this kind of soft box now which can click over the light and defuse the light because there's nothing worse than having really harsh lighting in a video. Check that out. And then all you do is just slide that on here and tighten up this little piece here. And there we go. We have our vlogger kit set up and ready to go. We can use this light to face towards us or away from us. The same thing with the microphone, because it's USB-C, it can literally be either way around. And you can even have it how I have it right now with the mics facing towards you, the lights facing the opposite way, and you can record your videos that way. That's pretty cool. The last couple of things that come with it that I didn't show you guys is there is a USB-C cable in there if you need to charge your light. So that's pretty cool. It would have been nice if they'd thrown in a USB-C extender so you could have your mic somewhere else, not necessarily on the side of the phone. That would have been cool. You've also got this, which is a really big windshield. I wasn't expecting it to be this massive. I actually thought it was going to be quite a small windshield. Some people call this a dead cat. Let's just fit this on here so you can see how massive this is. It literally takes up half the screen on the phone. <laughs> But I'll tell you what, if it's windy outside and you've got one of these, you're going to be glad you had it because that's what this is designed for, blocking out wind noise. And yeah, that's a massive dead cat. So there we have it. It's all set up, ready to rock and roll. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to detach all of this stuff that's connected to it and do a little bit of a selfie video and then reattach it with the lighting. And I'm even going to dim the lights a bit so you guys can see how the lighting works. Pretty cool so far. I'm very impressed with the build quality on everything. And now it's time for the all important video and sound quality test before and after. All right, so right now you're looking at the video quality and audio quality on the Oppo Reno 4 5G, which is a new phone. And really, you're gonna see the biggest difference if you have an older phone where the video isn't that good on the selfie camera or the rear camera and the audio is not that good. You're gonna have a big step up if you try the vlogger kit anyway this is the video and audio quality before this is after and you can see a massive difference with that light there it's actually got four settings and this is the lowest one let's see how bright this thing goes yeah i think the lowest setting for this kind of condition is perfect if i had it facing the other way and i was trying to film things further away then that's probably when you would use those settings but you can see the shadows are much more dramatic even though it's quite dark in the room my face is still bright and when your face is still bright your phone camera doesn't have to use such a high iso and you don't get loads of little digital noise in your picture which is really important if you're doing online videos and stuff like that you want the best quality video best quality sound and i think the road delivers let me know in the comments below if you agree now let's mess around with some of these color filters so this is the red filter you kind of get that spooky vibe You've got the blue in the background quite cinematic look there i think look at the shadows as well you can do really creative stuff with some of these let me try the matrix filter so here's the matrix you got that kind of green tint going on the funny thing is the smartphone We'll see that the scene's quite green and try to correct it. So it might be fluctuating a bit. So it might be an idea if you're gonna use this kit to film with filters, you might wanna use like Filmic Pro or Filmora or something like that, where you can go into a bit more manual settings so the white balance isn't shifting crazy, but it's pretty cool. I'm really impressed with this. I think I could have a lot of fun with this. The Reno is doing a great job of trying to get my skin tones right. Look there. <laughs> Certain areas where it can do it and certain areas in the darkness, you can see we got that style going on there. Whoa. So one thing to note, when you're setting this up for the first time, one thing you must download is the Rode Reporter app. That basically gives you a control of the microphone so you can adjust the microphone levels and you can even set it so that every time you plug the microphone in, it automatically opens in the background. So that's pretty cool. And overall, my opinion on this, having just unboxed it and tested it out, I really like it. All of the bits of it are very well built and you guys can be the judge of the sound and picture quality when you're using it. Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this one, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. See you in the next one. Don't be late.